Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show a short video about glazing. Uh, today I am working on glazing this wall piece. Um, so this will go on the wall and as you can see I started by putting a black wash on the entire surface and I also glazed this uh, little cave inside that doesn't have the black wash behind it. Um, to make a black wash I use just the same, the Reward Velvet Underglaze, which is the same thing that I use for the black and white Sgraffito work. Um, and I just put it in a bucket and wash it down. Just add some water and I want it to be pretty watery. The main thing is just to get the black to go into all the cracks and crevices. So as you can see, I'm just painting it on. And then I would just take a damp sponge and kind of sponge it off so the top area is cleaned off but the black goes down into those cracks and crevices and it really kind of defines the imagery that's on it. So the other thing that I will be doing is the glaze that I'll put on. So as I mentioned I put the the blue on the inside cave area. And I like using these Mako um, stoneware glazes. This is a Celadon Bloom. Um, and I will also be using these, these are uh, low fire matte glazes that are supposed to be used for low fire, but I like experimenting and they look really great um, fired high and they still remain um, nice and matte. So this piece will go to probably cone five or six. Um, so this red, for example, will be on the bicycle of the figures that are on here. Um, one more thing that I'll be doing is I will be also adding these little slip cast critters, as you can see. Um, so like a bunny, we have leaves, an owl, some different little critters, and these will go in the cave. So what I'll do is I'll, fa or I'll glaze these with a matte clear, and then I'll start setting them in here. And this is the fun part, kind of, I don't know exactly how it's gonna look. And instead of gluing them in, I let the firing process become the glue. So like the matte glaze will attach to the glaze that's on the inside. So that becomes the glue. And it makes it kind of fun, just not knowing exactly what it's going to look like. So just to kind of give you an idea, this may change. We've got to throw in an acorn and maybe a flower. So just to kind of show you what this will look like. And these will remain white with the clear. So again, this is a wall sculpture. You can see, I'll show you the back of it. And once it's fired, this has been bisked once, it'll be fired one more time to the high temperature. So, there you have it. I'm hoping to get it in the kiln later tonight or worst case scenario tomorrow. But thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.